Okay, just a short video on the location of lung seven, a very popular point in traditional Chinese medicine. Here's what a lot of early students are told when trying to find lung seven. Now, what most people would say is you can just interlace your fingers just like so, and where your index finger lands is right where lung seven is located. I think most of you can see how easy it would be to make a mistake when it comes to this particular method where that index finger lands has to be pretty specific. And the way to get that spe specificity is to instead use your Sun measurements. Now the Sun measurements in this location is actually a little bit confusing because we're gonna be looking for the large intestine meridian. Lung seven is actually located 1.5 Sun from large intestine Five, which is located here in the snuff box at the wrist. So what you need to do is locate your endpoints. So we have in the snuff box, large intestine five. At the end of the cubital crease, large intestine 11. Follow that meridian all the way across. And lung seven is located 1.5 soon from large intestine five. Now the easiest way to locate that is take your two endpoints we know that this is 12 sun. 12 split in half is six, split in half again is three, and split in half again is 1.5. So it's actually quite simple to find where large intestine, or sorry, where lung seven is located by using your large intestine meridian and your sun measurements. Once you get comfortable using these sun measurements, then you can go start trying to locate with this particular method as long as your hands are exactly the same size as your clients. Because if your hands much bigger, you might be reaching much farther than where lung seven is supposed to be. So stick with the sun measurements first, split 12 into six, into three, into 1.5, all on the large intestine meridian. Once you think you've found your spot, what I suggest people do is to palpate, you can do this on yourself now, is to palpate from large intestine five over the styloid, and just as you get over the styloid, that is your lung seven. Now you should be able to feel a groove in this location. There's a nice little groove that easily fits your finger in this location for lung seven. Now needling, needling is usually done not perpendicularly, which would be uncomfortable, not much room, only bone underneath there, is generally more oblique, or even in some cases subcutaneous. So the needling oblique or subcutaneous for lung seven, often directed towards the elbow. If you had thumb problems or any thumb pain, you might direct that needling towards uh, the hand, but traditionally lung seven located right here, just pointed towards the elbow. So just remember, use your large intestine meridian, use your sun measurements, and you will fall right on top of lung seven very quickly. Then you can start incorporating this method in when hand size is not a problem. I hope that was helpful.